Hello children, I am Prasanna. In this video, I am going to explain what are intersecting lines, perpendicular lines and parallel lines. So first, we are going to do what are intersecting lines. See when two lines cross each other, this is one line and this is one line. Yeah, when the two lines cross each other in a plane, they are called intersecting lines. So, these are called intersecting lines. And they are having a common point. Means, this line and this line is intersecting at this point. Right? So, the inter intersecting lines share a common point which exists on all the intersecting lines. And this is called as point of intersection the point where the two lines are meeting that point is known as point of intersections okay children so coming to the definition we can write when two lines cross each other in a plane they are called intersecting lines and the two cross each other in a plane they are called intersecting lines okay children here suppose if you take this is one line and this is one line Suppose this is L and this line is M. So these two are meeting at what point? This point. Suppose this point is X. So what is X here? X is called the point of intersection and the line N, L and M are intersecting lines. So where we find this inter intersecting lines in our real life? See when scissors, you know what are scissors? The two arms of the scissor forms an intersecting lines. Right? And crossroads. So two roads meet at a common point makes a crossroads. So what are the properties of these intersecting lines? The intersecting lines meet only at one point. They will meet only at one point always. And the intersecting lines can cross each other at any angle may cross at any angle. This angle formed is always greater than 0 degrees and less than 180 degrees. It should be greater than 0 and less than 180. So two intersecting lines form a pair of vertical angles. If you see here, this and this are opposite opposite to each other. So we call it as a vertical angles. The vertical angles are opposite angles with a common vertex. Here this is one pair of vertical opposite angles and these are the another pair of vertically opposite angles. And the vertical angles of opposite angles with a common vertex. Next one uh, perpendicular lines. So what are perpendicular lines? So in geometry a branch of mathematics, perpendicular lines are defined as two lines that meet or intersect two lines that meet or intersect each other at right angle. So, when the two lines intersect each other at right angle, we call the two lines as perpendicular lines. Okay, children? Suppose this is one line and this is another line intersecting at this point. If you observe, here the point where they intersected is having a 90 degrees. Isn't it? So, then we call they are perpendicular lines. Suppose the lines intersect like this. This is one line and this is one line. This is a point of intersection. If it is 
90 degrees or if it is 90 then we call them as intersecting lines okay the two lines that intersect at a point where right angle is formed then we call the two lines as perpendicular lines so perpendicular lines can be formed everywhere around us like a street of intersecting in rectangle intersecting and in rectangular window grills right and corner of two walls this is one wall here corner here right angle is formed here this line and this line is intersecting at this point and here is 90 degrees then we call this as a perpendicular lines right and red cross symbol so these are the examples in real life where we find the perpendicular lines and perpendicular lines meet at what degrees 90 degrees so perpendicular lines meet at 90 degrees and these lines are always intersect at 90 right angle okay next still we can say um, examples of perpendicular lines are adjacent sides of a square or rectangle because this is square all sides are equal all the four sides are equal here if you see this and this are adjacent and it is here 90 degrees and you know in square and rectangle all the four angles will be 90 degrees 90 90 90 90 so suppose if you take this board also children here this and this are intersecting this line and this line are intersecting and here is the corner where 90 degrees is formed I can say this and this are perpendicular lines and this line and this line is also perpendicular lines means here we can say this line and this line are perpendicular and these two are the same sides are perpendicular and these two are the same sides are perpendicular and here these two are the same sides are perpendicular that means we get four pairs of perpendicular lines in the uh, sides of a square adjacent sides of a square or rectangle okay children and the symbol what is the symbol of this perpendicular symbol of this perpendicular lines means suppose this line is l and this line is m and these two lines are intersecting at this point here if you see you are getting 90 degrees so i can say l and m are perpendicular lines then what is the symbol it is the symbol of the perpendicular right lines is reverse t okay so here l is perpendicular to m if l is perpendicular to m we can also say m is also perpendicular to l so the symbol for the perpendicular lines is reverse t here in geometry parallel lines are lines in a plane which do not meet that is two straight lines in a plane that do not intersect at any point so lines which do not definition is lines which do not intersect at any point are said to be parallel lines so they never meet when you extend also here this is one line and this is another line here when you extend endlessly in both the directions they never meet any point then these type of lines are called parallel so lines on your plane that never meet they are always the same distance apart they are having the same distance apart so these are called parallel lines and the parallel lines are represented with a pair of vertical lines between uh, the names of the lines for example here this line is L and this line is M so what is the symbol for parallel here children it is represented like this means between two vertical pair of vertical lines between the names of lines here I can write L is parallel to M this is a symbol for parallel okay children suppose if I represent the uh, line with the two letters P and Q and this is another line x and y so these two lines are parallel so i can write 
PQ is parallel to XY or PQ line PQ is parallel to line XY. So we can see parallel lines in a uh, way in our life zebra cross crossing. Yeah, the lines of notebook. And still, very good example of parallel lines is um, railway track around us. So, lines, uh, railway track. Yeah, this is the railway track. This means this and this are parallel. They never.